Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. Just about a couple of days ago, I heard from the news, I heard it, I read it, that the National Assembly have justified why they desire the SUV worth over a hundred million naira each for themselves. And when I heard and saw this video, I was shocked. The senator has that they approve a land cruiser for us. And uh, somebody that is a minister, you have more than six, maybe three land cruiser, Prado, and other vehicle in their convoy. And you are not asking them questions. Please PR us a bit. And this vehicle that you think, go to Nigerian roads today. If I go home once to my senatorial district, I come back spending a lot on my vehicle because our roads are bad. And uh, the issue of uh, buying vehicles for National Assembly, you know, it's a reoccurring re 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 decima every pale every assembly. It will always come up. We should at least let the public let them have a little trust and confidence in us. If you go to state houses of assembly today, check out most of them before they even they were even inaugurated, the governors will have bought vehicles waiting for them. Even local government chairman, I know the vehicle my local government chairman is using. So why National Assembly alone? Can you imagine? No, Nigerians, you have seen it for yourself. They are rubbing it on our faces. They are rubbing it on our faces. At the time, every Nigerian is asked to squeeze. As the time when the man has, that imposed himself upon Nigeria is making this statement. The cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it. Households and businesses struggling. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways. But yes, not. That is the time. This never do wells are justifying to have SUV so that they will be able to be jumping the potholes. The never do well government had, you know, done on Nigerians. We are all passing through bad roads. You know, when we say it, that these guys, they acquired this SUV so that they will not be filling the potholes that you Nigerians are filling. The same people that is being financed by the public fund, by taxpayers' fund. What are you to them? You are their slaves. You are nobody and nothing will happen. That is how they say it. If this is not enough to provoke Nigerians to chase these charlatans out of gov government, <laughs> we are all, it is not going to end in my own household. Though. Every one of us must, you know, Feel the heat. Every Nigerian, it doesn't matter whether you have run away from this country, because as you are running, you have left part of you behind in this country. Running to a place where the people sometime have stand, have stood to make their their place a better place. That is where you're running to. And to us who are living here, you believe that we are living. We are merely surviving. You are not living. In Nigeria, we are all surviving this wicked, atrocious government you have today in power and most insensitive political class ever in the history of humanity. That's the kind of people that are running this country. Very shameless. And I don't blame them. I blame you, Nigerian people. And to those of you who say, eh, you keep talking about Nigeria. Yes, because we are Nigerians by citizenship. It doesn't matter your indigenous identity. You are just deceiving yourself, thinking that it doesn't affect you. <laughs> Every one of us, whether you are Biafran, Ududua, or Arewa, we are all feeling the heat, and we are all passing through that hell together. So, as long as Nigeria is still in existence, and as long as we are all carrying the yoke of this colonial enterprise called Nigeria, 
it matters what is happening in Nigeria today. And if that doesn't matter, you will not be talking about Nigeria every time. So I tell you, Nigerians, every one of us will continue being victim of this impunity that had made themselves the government of the day. I'm signing out. Help me share this video to help wake up the consciousness of Nigerian people because it seems our brain has been hibernated. Bye-bye for now.